I was thinking about this on the plane and how I was going to present this and, and what you guys wanted to hear, thinking about you got up really early, talking about ASP.NET extensions, and I realized that, in fact, you don't want to hear about ASP.NET 3.5 extensions. Surely, you would not get up at 9 o'clock and come up here to the office of Microsoft in New York. You want to know about me. <laughs> you want to know all about me and my life from DNA up till this afternoon. Because I work for the Big Blue Monster, and surely you want to understand how I got there and my life story. <laughs> so some of my early work, doing some work in classic ASP here. At this point, John Robbins is 10 years old. <laughs> Did a lot of work in Visual Basic 3, PB3. I actually started a little bit before this in C++, but PB3 is really when I, when I uh, you know, got, you know, found, my, uh, my, found my own voice. Because Microsoft's original strategy was to get toddlers with DB3. <laughs> and uh, you know, I had heroes like Carl Franklin, the guys that started the DB homepage in 94. And, and VB was such a powerful enzyme. Worked on a lot of really advanced applications that you may have heard of. Read a couple of books. This actually is in my bathroom, and I never have finished the book. <laughs> When I couldn't make it through this book, I instead went to this book. And this is how my career got started. It only took 24 hours to make this happen. Because <laughs> ASP.NET is that easy. Worked on a couple of operating systems. You may have spent some time in these OSs as well. And at this point, uh, I'm starting to learn programming. I'm starting to get a sense that this is pretty easy. I can do this. Uh, and unfortunately, at this point, my head got big. Started to get a little bit of an ego about this. Went and got some certifications. Got them all. This is called the MC Star. Dot star. <laughs> uh, and then realized that maybe this was not a particularly useful. <laughs> <laughs> but still, my head got bigger. <laughs> Started talking in public doing the jazz hands thing, presenting more and more, doing a lot of meta presenting, which is me presenting about myself presenting. <laughs> <laughs> Went and got my MCSE. <laughs> and I was good. I just want to make sure you understand how good I was. I was not just good, I was really good. <laughs> I worked hard to get this good. Enter MCSE. Got my MVP. <laughs> but I didn't see the internet coming, like some large companies in uh, the Northwest. I didn't see it coming. Fell on some hard times. <laughs> it's a really rough uh, period in my life. And I asked myself, what would Neil Patrick Harris do? <laughs> so I decided to finally embrace and join Microsoft. <clears throat> and when I did this, I had to ask myself, why? Why am I going to do this? Is it about influencing developers? It's about you know, in, uh, engaging in the larger ecosystem? Uh, it's, about the, it's about the hours and the lifestyle. Uh, it was mostly for the money and the healthcare and the free software. Free soda. And the free soda, thank you. <coughs> but it gave me an opportunity to talk to a lot of people. And, uh, and this was the guy who, who hired me. You guys know Scott Goo. And when we say Scott Goo, we have to say Scott Goo. <laughs> he insists on that. <coughs> I like to call him the Goo, uh, or his Gooness, if you're not a medical brevity thing. Uh, he also prefers Sir. And I really care about this man. I care about this man so much that I went uh, looking for a halo to put around his head, just to you know, get a piece of clip art to really express the way that I feel about this man. And was in fact unable to find the piece of clip art that I was looking for. So the best that I could do <laughs> was this. But I just want you to understand how much this man means to me. From my early uh, new new uh, new employee orientation at Microsoft, it was a little invasive, but that was okay. Felt a little out of place, a little uncomfortable, because the people at Microsoft are just really, really clever, <laughs> really powerful people. Getting to work on some of What's this? <laughs> Rick rolled again. Damn it. It's getting out of hand. Stop. 
hit me with the Rickroll. You guys been Rickroll? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Flash crash my system, but, no. No. No, but anyway, we did Microsoft. Only been there six months. I don't really want to push the boundaries. We've got a really cool new boss. Uh, he's been really, really nice to me. He's been meeting some new friends. <laughs> People that you see wandering around in the building 42, which is really cool. Windows 7 wallpaper there. Started a blog. Starting to learn a little bit more about my relationship with my wife as I'm working from home now. <laughs> I have to explain to my wife exactly what is it that I do. And uh, still not quite sure, but it involves the internet and it involves staying up late and not coming to bed, I'm afraid. I've done some early work in the last six months, like we just added Clippy to VI, which is going to be a pretty powerful, uh, pretty powerful application that eventually comes out. Uh, and then we had a, an SDR, a software design review, except we have, had it after it shipped. Uh, which, uh, may have made the feedback loop a little too tight. But we're going to go ahead and take that feedback to the team. Uh, came up with a really great name for that new product that I think you're going to be really excited about. And the, 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 of course, the shorter version is going to be roll off the <laughs> much easier. Starting to work with the Microsoft research team on some of the new graphics enhancements. Getting more and more advanced graphics. As we push graphics power more and more and more. <laughs> more and more detail. Actually, uh, somebody went and made, took a bunch of bloggers and uh, is down here somewhere. Took me. I mean, this is 100, 100 popular bloggers, there I am. And then made ASCII art of our faces. And I don't know, they really did. I mean, that's like, they took my name and made ASCII art of it. I'm not sure if I should be uh, calling the police or if I should be honored by that. Doing a lot of work with, uh, with test-driven development. I hope you go look at uh, Phil Hack's talk on TDD. You guys know about red, green, refactor. This has been a little bit of an issue with me at Microsoft because I'm colorblind, so it ends up being gray, gray, refactor. <laughs> but, uh, but I'm working through that. You know, Getting a little bit of a hassle from the alt.net guys that are really, really intense on, uh, on test-driven development. But uh, ultimately, you know, everything Microsoft does is scrutinized. And uh, I just want to use some tools and make some great code be like the Matrix, you know. Unfortunately, it always ends up looking like this. <laughs> I had to tell my boss that WTF means, wow, that's fantastic. Otherwise, he wouldn't let me put this slide in. I'll let him believe that. <laughs> but, you know, close enough, so we'll ship it. Um, and I made this diagram of the .NET ecosystem that I helped, uh, thought would uh, maybe help explain to people what's going on at Microsoft and how we're, we are heading in a general direction, but ultimately, we may cross the streams and something extraordinarily bad will happen. So uh, you're not laughing, which means that I've done a poor job in my presentation, so I'm going to have to just show you pictures of cats. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the LOL cats? So this is a thing that's happening on the internet right now where they literally people take pictures of cats and they, well, this, this cat actually went to the University of Iowa, so he's got better grammar than the other cats. Uh, and this is the second most popular website on the internet right now. And these pictures of cats are supporting seven full-time people working on that site. Uh, and it's basically pictures of cats with funny phrases. And these cats speak a certain language called LOL, right? They're LOL cats, laughing out loud cats. Uh, and that language that the cats speak has actually been formalized. That one's pretty good. <laughs> this is like the kind of thing that they speak. This, is, this language has been formalized into an actual coding language. <laughs> this, is, this is totally true. And, and, and uh, John Lamb and the guys over in the DLR team have taken LOL code and compiled it. So this is an actual coding language you can use today. Go to my blog, go to John Lamb's blog. You can get the compiler for this. It runs on top of the DLR. So this is, I'm in your north wind, right? And then, of course, we close the database down here. I'm out of your north wind. <laughs> But, but this, this isn't really the canonical example. I think the better example is showing the, the uh, try-catch blocks. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
it's getting, it's getting as closer and closer to a language that's like English. I mean, I'm in your var up in your zero to length of string. It's almost like English. It's the kind of colloquial language I can speak. I would encourage you to check that out. <laughs>